Start by pulling up all your loops and your chains for your foundation row on a cabled hook and then lay it flat and make sure your stitches are not twisted. Before we start working the return pass, we need to join our work in the round. To do that, we are going to insert the hook between the second and third loop that is on our cable. Right there, between that second and third loop where my finger is. So insert your hook between those two loops. Yarn over, pull up a loop, and now we can start the return pass by repeatedly yarning over and pulling through two all the way around. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and sometimes you need to arrange the stitches when the tension becomes a little tight to loosen things up so you can easily continue working the return pass. Depending on the size project you are making. So just continue yarning over and pulling through two. All right, I am almost done with my return pass. So you should yarn over, pull through two till one loop is left on your hook. And then I like to adjust that join there so it's around those two loops. And now we can start the forward pass of the second row, but make sure you do not skip that stitch that you worked around. So you always work a Tunisian simple stitch in there. And then you follow the pattern if you're following a pattern. For this tutorial, I will just be working Tunisian simple stitches all the way around. Make sure not to miss the very last stitch. It gets very small and it can be easily missed. And sometimes a little difficult to work into. Now we need to join this row slash round in the round. Again, by going um, between the second and third loop on our cable. So insert your hook between those two loops. and then yarn over and pull up a loop. And now work the return pass by yarning over, pulling through two loops all the way across. And I'm gonna continue doing that until I am done with this row. All right, almost done with the row, but make sure you do not yarn over and accidentally pull through three since those two loops are very close to each other. And now I'm gonna show you how to bind off. So I'm just gonna take my cable off to make it a little easier. Don't forget that first stitch there to work your slip stitch into. So slip stitch in each stitch all the way around. When you are done, pull a loop, pull a loop out and then you would cut your yarn I'm not going to cut my yarn since I will be using this again for another tutorial. And then thread it onto your darning needle and I'll show you a little trick to make this look like a smooth join. So I'm going to insert my needle through that very first slip stitch I made through both of the legs of that V and then back through just the back leg of the V I came out of and you have a very smooth join. And then I do the same thing with the bottom tail end. And it is not seamless. You can kind of tell where the seam is, but it is a flat seam. 